hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to make a zara cap perfectly okay how to make a zara cap neatly and perfectly so i have written the following materials i have my fabric i'm using a stretchy fabric this is a stretchy taffeta why some call it raw silk okay you can use any fabric of choice be it stretchy or not stretchy but i prefer to use a stretchy fabric because of the easiness to put it on okay so i have marco i have my measuring tape marco is sold by those who make who sell bags and shoe making materials then i have this foam this foam is a quarter inch that's the width is a quarter inch it's called the quarter inch foam there's one flatter than this i think but this is what i'll be using for this project then I have my needle and the matching color of thread. So the foam is also sold by those who sell bags and shoe making material. As you get the foam where you get your marker. Okay. I'm going to start with the base itself. That's the Zara cap. So this is for the cap base itself. And this is the stretchy part of the fabric. This part does not stretch. This is the stretchy part of the fabric. So what I have now is... 22 inches by the length 24 inches i'm using 22 inches by 24 inches now this 22 inches is my exact head circumference and because i'm using the stretchy fabric okay it's actually okay for me you can decide to use um, use your own head circumference so i didn't have any extra allowance because this part will still need to reduce for it to sit properly on that part of the air so what i will just do is to fold this in once and stitch all the way down before i proceed so that it will hide our rough edges okay that's just what i will do first i fold this in and i'm going to stitch like that okay as you can see that i've sewn i folded it in and i've sewn it okay so i'm going to, going to turn it back to the wrong side this is the wrong side i'm going to fold it like this I fold it by okay so I, I, I folded it now by three inches I fold it by three inches after folding it the edges in okay I fold it by three inches and I'm going to stitch by by half an inch I'll stitch by half an inch but let me show you how I'm going to stitch what I'm literally trying to say is after stitching, I should have just 2.5 inches left. Remember, our marco, the width of our marco is 2.5 inches. So we need this part to be 2.5 inches. And if at all we want to add any spacing or any uh, free allowance, you can just add just this extra line that is after this 2.5 inches. Okay, this extra line here, just to make it easy for us to put it in. But it's better to have it that way. We have 2.5 inches as the casing right here let me just hold this down with my needle okay so i'll just pick it like this can you see and i'm going to stitch i'm going to stitch by the time i turn it like this we have the right side so you can just high on flatten this part okay so now we are going to be inserting our Marco into it like this. So I have my Marco and I'll just fold it like this. Okay, and I'll insert it right here. I'll just fold it and push it down. So I press it down to adjust. So I just push it down a little to fall at the center. Okay, so now this falls at the center of the band area. So I just press it down like that before we proceed. 
I'm going to proceed. You can decide to stitch your marker to it, but I don't find it necessary because it's really, really standing firm. Okay, in it, I don't find it necessary. All right, so now we are going to fold it into half and measure. The length is now about 17.5 inches. So if you want to reduce it at this point, you can go ahead and reduce it, okay? So we have about 18 inches, I mean. I can go ahead and reduce it to 16. So I don't want it to be too much, okay? Or even 14. So I'll just do 16 inches. So it won't be too tight as well. I can reduce it. I can decide to leave it that way. It doesn't really matter. Once it is gathered, it will still come out nice, okay? So after reducing it, this is what I have. So before you proceed, you can just shape it out. You can just give it this our nice uh, curve right here. But you can as well decide to leave it this way, okay? You can also decide to leave it this way. It doesn't really matter, okay? But I always prefer to do it this way. So I'm going to stitch from here, right? That's up to this point. After stitching, you can now go ahead and weave the edges but for the purpose of this tutorial or this video i'll just go ahead with the next step from my stitches from here this way let me stitch and show you the next step so as you can see i've stitched i've started from here to here and then please at this point you need to confirm your head circumference so for me i have 10 inches and four so it has reduced to 20 inches this is my exact size on where this um, cap will be sitting okay on the part the cap will be sitting so this is the exact side required now i'm going to run my new stitches from here up to this point So at this point, I will just go ahead and secure my stitches. Just go ahead and secure it like that. So I'll just turn it inside out carefully and our cap is ready so this is our cap so now i'm going to make a design for this okay so for the design this is the fabric i've cut out and the length is 35 inches it's 35 inches or let's say 30 34 is actually the the yard part of the fabric that's one yard so it's 34 in, in this case for some it could be 35 and for some it could be 36 so this is 34 inches and the width is the width is 8 inches so this is about 8 inches okay so i have my foam cut out this is my foam the length of the foam the length of the foam is 31 inches. It is not as long as the fabric, okay? The fabric is 34 inches in my own case, while the foam is 31 inches. So make sure that for whatever measurement you're using, you don't make your foam as long as your fabric. So for the fabric, you could actually make uh, the length part about 30, 30 to 35. Between 30 to 35 inches is actually fine. If you want your, your row smaller, make it about 30 to 32 inches. And what is exactly like mine, you use 34 or 35 inches. For the, the foam, like I said, it's 31 inches length and the width is 7 inches. The width is 7 inches, as you can see. The width is 7 inches. So, I'm going to get my needle and thread. I have my needle and thread. That the thread is doubled twice. And I'm going to place my foam in the... At the center of the fabric like this the reason why we have a foam shorter is so that our foam will not show at the end of the day that's after we're done with the design so i'm going to just fold this in 
question like this. You can hold it down with your office pins or your needle to keep it in place while you walk. So I'll just hold it down right there and I come to this side and I'll start sewing my new stitches. Like this all the way down. So as soon as I get here, I'm going to do a cough. Just a cough, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull it now to form my gathers. But before then, I would like to trim off this part. I think it was more than eight inches initially. Yes. I just cut this part a little. Then you can just do a cough. Just follow the cough right here. Okay. So I will drag. Like that, I just drag it like that. Can you see? Okay, I just drag very well. Then I arrange to form my rows. Okay, after which I'm going to secure it together. So at this point, I'm trying to make sure that the rough edges is hidden, that the rough part is hidden. After you are properly tacked, I'm going to get my cap and I'm going to just tack it down right here. So you can just place it this way. You can turn it this way. Anyhow you feel is okay, but I prefer to turn it like this. And I'll just go ahead and tack it down to my cap.